Mr. Speaker, the government has had 24 hours to get some basic facts about the PRC, a PRC diplomats targeting of MPs. So here's my question. On September 10th, 2019, the Public Safety Minister issued a directive to CSIS ordering the service to inform the minister of any matter or action of interest to the minister. When was the Public Safety Minister or his office first made aware that a PRC diplomat, Mr. Wei Zhou, was targeting me or my family? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, since this is the first occasion in which the member for Wellington Halton Hills has raised since this matter was brought to the attention of the public and this chamber, I want to express solidarity to him and to his family, and that we will continue to work with him and all parliamentarians to make sure that he and all parliamentarians get the support that they need. Mr. Speaker, since the outset, when we took the reins of government, we have been vigilant in fighting against foreign interference. We have put in place the people, the resources, the tools, and the oversight, as the Prime Minister just said, to defend our institutions. We will do that work together. Before we go to the next question, I want to remind honourable members that calling each other names is not parliamentary language. The Honourable Member for Wellington Halton Hills. Mr. Speaker, the directive of September 10th, 2019 is clear. It directs the service. It says that the service has a duty to inform the minister of any such matter as is relevant to enable the minister to fulfill the minister's accountabilities as outlined in the CSIS Act. In general terms, the minister expects to be consulted or informed regarding any action on which a deputy head would normally involve his or her, or her minister. So my question again is very simple. When did the public safety minister or his office first become aware that a PRC diplomat was targeting a member of this house and their family? Here, here. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my colleague across the aisle for highlighting the directives that this government has put in place to ensure transparency and accountability around decisions which are taken independently by our nonpartisan professional public servants when it comes to which classified information is made public and which must remain classified to protect the people that work in that space. Mr. Speaker, this is not a partisan issue. We must all work together to defend the institutions, the communities, and most importantly, the parliamentarians who serve those institutions to protect our democracy. Well, member for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, what a gutless response. What if that happened to that minister's family? I have the same question. When did he know? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I've just said, it is our nonpartisan, independent public servants who make decisions around operations, including which classified information is made public. And for good reason. It is important that we protect the people that work in those institutions, not only to protect our national security, but to protect the people that work within, the, the, within these institutions, including parliamentarians. And Mr. Speaker, let me just say, it is outrageous to make the claim that any member of parliament would stand for any attack on any parliamentarian. We are united against fighting against foreign interference. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. When did he know? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, my colleague can continue to ask the same question. She will get the same answer. But it is this government it is this government, Mr. Speaker, that has raised the bar on transparency when it comes to protecting our institutions by creating a committee of parliamentarians, by creating NSERA. By the way, Mr. Speaker, I would point out the Conservatives had nearly 10 years to create those institutions. They never did. So rather than suggesting that we stand up, I suggest they now stand up and get behind the cause of the government so we can protect all parliamentarians and our institutions.